Hey guys, Mike from Cock Chemistry. In this video, we'll be going over how to solve for the wavelength of light that's either absorbed or released. So here I have an energy level diagram with energy increasing as you go up, and these are the corresponding energy levels. No notice that the difference in the energy levels decrease as you go higher and higher up. When light is absorbed, an electron will go from lower energy level to higher energy level. For example, it can go from one to two, one to three, or if the electron started at two, it can go from two to four, two to five. Essentially, when an electron is going from lower energy level to higher energy levels, light is absorbed. On the other hand, when light is released, it means that the electron is going from higher energy level to lower energy level. So for example, it can drop from four to two, four to one, or it can drop from three to two. Just when it goes from higher to lower, when it's dropping, light will be released. Now, how can you figure out the wavelength of the light that's either absorbed or released for these energy transitions? You can just use Rybrick's formula, which I have written right here. On the left-hand side, you have one over the wavelength, or just the inverse of the wavelength. Then you have Rybrick's constant, which typically will be given to you on the exam. Then you have Z, which is the atomic number. And then you have uh, NF, which is the final energy level, and NI, which is the initial energy level. Now, let's take a look at an example for how we can solve for the wavelength. In the first example, we have to find the wavelength of the electromagnetic radiation, which just means light. That's a minute for a hydrogen atom as an electron goes from 3 to 1. So it's dropping from higher to lower, which means the energy is going to be released. So then we can just use Rybrick's formula to figure out the wavelength. So I'll just recopy Rybrick's formula over here, and we'll just replace the variables. Z, the atomic number for hydrogen, is just 1, so that'll just be 1 squared. The final energy level is 1, because it's dropping from 3 to 1, so replace NF with 1. And the original energy level, there in the show, is 3. So replace that NI for 3. Then we can just plug this into the calculator. And I'll give you negative 9.75 times 10 to the 6 meters to the negative 1. This is negative right here because energy was, or the light was emitted. So negative means that light was emitted and positive means that light was absorbed. To figure out the actual wavelength, we have to take this number and raise it to the negative one power because we currently have to inverse the wavelength. So when we do that, we take it to negative one power, we'll get 1.03 times 10 to the negative seven meters. Um, I dropped a negative because the wavelength has to be positive, it can't be negative. So that's the final answer in meters, but if we want to take that to nanometers, we can just multiply this by 10 to the 9th, and it'll give us 103 nanometers. Let's take a look at another example. So in this example, we're asked to solve for the wavelength of the absorbed photon. A photon just means light that will cause an electron in lithium 2 plus to go from n equals four, 2 to n equals 4. So this time we're going from lower to higher. That means light is going to be absorbed. And to solve for the wavelength for the light, we're once again going to use Rybrick's equation. I'll copy Rybrick's equation over here. Then let's replace the variables. This time it's lithium instead of hydrogen, so we have to use the atomic number of lithium. And that is 3. So we'll replace C for 3. The final energy level is 4. And the initial energy level is 2. Then we can plug this into the calculator. And that gives us 1.85 times 10 to the 7 meters to negative 1. And then to actually get that with a wavelength, we raise that to the negative 1. And we get 5.4 times 10 to the negative 8 meters. And that is the final answer for the wavelength of the photon that's absorbed when an electron goes from n to 2, n to, 2 to n equals 4 in lithium 2+. Plus. And that's how you can solve for the wavelength of light that's either absorbed or released. Just use Rybrick's formula. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.